Microsoft Entra ID is Microsoft's cloud-based identity and access management service. It helps manage users, authenticate logins, and control access to applications and resources. You have to create an account in Microsoft Entra ID for every user who will access a Microsoft Azure cloud service. Hello everyone, I hope you are all doing well. I am Manhar and welcome back to my safety webcast. This video provides a step-by-step -step guide on how to create users and groups in Microsoft Entra ID using the Microsoft Azure portal. Creating and managing users and groups in Microsoft Entra ID is crucial for IT administrators. It ensures efficient allocation of permissions and resources across an organization. Users are individuals who need access to resources within the Azure environment. Each user account has a unique identity and can be assigned specific roles based on organizational requirements. Groups are entities that manage collections of users, simplifying access management by enabling administrators to assign permissions and resources to multiple users at once. I have already created a dedicated video series on Microsoft Entra ID. That video series covers everything you need to know about identity and access management with Microsoft Entra ID. Please check out the playlist of Microsoft Entra ID tutorials for beginners. As a quick heads up, in this video, we will learn how to create users and groups in Azure using the Azure portal. You can also use the Microsoft Entra Admin Center to create and manage users and groups. In the first step, we need to log in to the Azure portal. Open your preferred web browser, navigate to portal.azure.com and sign in with your Azure account. Open Portal menu and click on Microsoft Entra ID. We can see the information about Microsoft Entra ID tenant. We can see that our tenant name is webcastlabs01.onmicrosoft.com and our Microsoft Entra subscription type is free. Expand Manage and click on Users. On the Users tab, we can see the list of existing users in Microsoft Entra ID. On the Users page, click New User. We need to select the type of user we want to create. To invite an external guest user to collaborate with your organization, Select the Invite External User option. To create an internal user, select the Create a New User option. Select Create New User. The Basic tab contains the core fields required to create a new user account. Enter a unique username and select a domain name from the menu. It will display a notification if the username already exists. Enter the user's display name. Now provide a password for the user to use during their initial sign-in. By default, auto-generate password option is selected to generate a random password for this user account. In this example, I am going to uncheck auto-generate password option to enter a different password. Now provide a password for the user to use during their initial sign-in. Account enabled option is checked by default. Uncheck to prevent the new user from being able to sign in. You can change this setting after the user is created. Click Next to move to the Properties section and fill up the required details. Add user's first name and last name. Add user's job related information such as the user's job title, department or manager. In Contact Information category, you can add any relevant contact information for the user. Under Settings, specify the user's global location. In this example, I am going to select United States. Select the Next Assignments button. We can assign the user to an administrative unit, group or Microsoft Entra role when the account is created. Remember, we can assign the user to up to 20 groups or roles. At a time, we can only assign the user to one administrative unit. Keep in mind that assignments can also be added after the user is created. Since we haven't created any groups or administrative units, we will configure these settings later on. Select the Review plus Create button. Review the details and select the Create button if everything looks good. Select Create to create this user account with the given details. 
we get the confirmation message that the user account is created successfully. Verify that the user is created and added to Microsoft Entra ID. To see the updated users list, click on refresh. We can confirm that the new user account with the display name David Smith has been created successfully. If you want to modify the user account settings of an existing user, click on user account. From the top menu, we can click on edit properties or at the bottom menu, we can also click on edit properties under quick actions menu to open user account properties. From here, we can add its settings related to the selected user account. For example, identity, job information, contact information, parental controls, settings and last we have on premises option. This option is not available right now. We have total 6 tabs on user account properties. All the user account properties information will be available under all tab. Click on save button to save the changes. Let me close this. So as you have seen, the process to add new user account in Microsoft Enter ID is very simple and straightforward. Now let's see how we can create a group in Azure. In Microsoft Enter, a group is a collection of users, devices or other entities that can be managed collectively for administrative and security purposes. Let's see how we can create a group in Azure. Click on default directory. Under manage, click on groups. Now click on all groups. We can see our organization's existing groups on this page. Currently, our organization does not have any Microsoft Entra groups set up. To create a new group, click on new group. Click on drop down menu. Microsoft Entra allows you to define two different types of groups. Security groups are the most common and are used to manage member and computer access to shared resources for a group of users. Generally, we use security group type to assign permissions. For example, you can create a security group so that all group members have the same set of security permissions. By doing it this way, you can give a set of permissions to all the members at once instead of having to add permissions to each member individually. In addition to administrators, security group owners can also include users and service principals. A Microsoft 365 group is a type of collaboration and management tool that enables teams to work together efficiently. It provides a unified workspace where members can access shared resources, communicate and collaborate. This option also lets you give people outside of your organization access to the group. In this example, we will choose security as a group tab. Now enter the name of the group. For example, test group 01. Here I have added prefix as to denote that this group is security group. We can also add a short description of the group. Let me add group description, Microsoft Entra Taste Security Group. With Microsoft Entra ID P1 or P2, you can create role assignable groups and assign Microsoft Entra roles to these groups. In that case, you will have one more option here with the name Microsoft Entra roles can be assigned to the group. Since we are using Microsoft Entra ID free subscription, we don't have that option. We can select dynamic or assigned membership for the security group. Keep in mind that dynamic group membership type is not available with Microsoft Entra ID free subscription. To use dynamic group membership, you need a Microsoft Entra ID P1 or P2 license. So with Microsoft Entra ID free subscription, we are not able to create a group with dynamic group membership type. So we have to create a security group with assigned membership type. Now select the members and owners for the group. Click on no owners selected link. Select the user which you want to set as group owner. Security group owners can add and remove group members if required. During the group creation process, you can also add members to the group. Click on no members selected link. Select the object which you want to add as a group member. Users, devices, enterprise applications and other groups known as nested groups can be included as members of a security group. Go to users tab to see only user accounts from our Microsoft Entra ID tenant. Select the user account named David Smith. In this example, I want to add David Smith as a group member while creating the security group. Click on select. 
and the members we can confirm we have one member selected click on create to create a new security group we define the settings the group is created successfully we need to refresh the view to see the updated group list click on refresh to view the updated list of groups we can confirm that the group has been created successfully check the group name group type and membership type it should be security group with assigned membership now that we have created the group we can view all the assigned members click on group name on overview page we can see the brief information about our security group expand manage and click on members we can confirm david smith is member of this security group to add more member click on add members begin searching for the members to add to our group from the add members page here i'm going to search for user vishal select vishal patel again click on select member successfully added to confirm it click on refresh we can confirm vishal patel is added successfully to this security group now click on owners just as with members you can add or remove group owners for the security group from this page to do that click on add owners from the list select the user which you want to add as a owner here i'm going to select david smith and i want to make this user as a group owner and we can confirm that david smith is successfully added as a group owner now david smith can add users to the security group as well as he can remove existing members from this security group on the properties page we can modify the group's details such as its name and description to assign microsoft entra role to the security group option is there but it is not available to us because we are using microsoft entra id free subscription but suppose if you are using microsoft entra id p1 or p2 from here you can assign microsoft entra roles to the security group that's all for this video on how to create users and groups in azure using azure portal i hope you found this video helpful and informative if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them below don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on microsoft azure and other microsoft related topics thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video have a great day